and it only started like a couple days or hours ago. So I just would like you to kind of check that. Yes, and then let's look got at the it. funnel set up in Kartra. Like everything should be good. But let's take a look at it. It'd be great for you to like check it. Yes. All right. All right. So let me do share. And let's see. I always get confused. I think this no, I think that's my other one. I think it's this one. Okay, okay. here we go. Got it. Uh all right, so do you want to start with the ad or Kartra? Yes, let's look at the ad real quick. Okay, so, all right, so here's my ad. I did conversions. Um, my ad sets are just 35 plus because this is the um, one for the flowers and macarons for the graduate. So I figured, you know, it's an older demographic because they have to at mm -hmm. least have like a 17, 18 year old yes. and above. So I did 35 plus men and then I did a separate ad set for women. Um, awesome. I, I, I'm sure the women one will do much better, but so this is where my whole conversion event, I just kind of let this go, even though it was red, but all I could go off was I had set up the pixel like, you know, a few weeks ago and all I could do was like views to the website as the conversion event. So okay, I don't know so if let's, I have this right or not. Let's look at, now, did you, so you did set up a custom conversion, right? Yes, I did that. And then, and that, well. Let's see, go to, um, exit out of this, just hit the top. Um, yeah, right there. Let's go to, um, and then uncheck those blue. Yeah, uncheck that. And then go to, hit the three lines in the top left and go down to events manager. Yeah, events manager. And then let's look at, the conversion real quick. So click on custom conversion. Okay, boom. So you're screwed. So, I didn't so do it custom. that's all right. Let's fix what it. you want to do? When did you start the ad? Just a couple hours ago. Okay, perfect. So just turn it off. Let's go back to the ad real quick. Let's just turn it off. So what you didn't do is you didn't set up a custom conversion first. That's why it's red. Okay. So let's turn off that. And then um, I turn off all three. I mean, it's just a habit that I yeah, have. Yeah, you know, I see, because so, I've seen that happen too, where you think yeah, they're off, but kind of not. Yeah. Okay. And we should be able to, we should be able to actually use all this again. All we're going to do is just update the ad set level. Okay. Since, since it just started and it's not really, the last thing you want to do is really edit when you're three days in. Yeah, you know? I know. Yeah. But if you're just like a couple hours in, then right. then we should be able to edit and, and be fine. So click and I was going to wait to start it, but I was like, oh, it's um, Memorial Day. I want to get this like run. I was going to wait for your yeah. call. But, okay. So create custom conversion. Yes. And then now what, what we got to do is go to your, go to your Kartra pages. We need the, um, the URL to the thank you page. So they go to the landing page, they opt in and then they land on that thank you page. Yeah, perfect. So grab that URL and all you're going to do. Yeah. So all you're going to do is just grab, every, don't grab the HTTPS, just grab everything after, after the forward slash. Okay. So, so start, what are, go ahead. Start with the P. So that P drag and highlight everything to the right of the P. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. What were we going to say? So, so this is part of, you know, I signed up for Kartra with my, you know, my, my marketing business. Mm -hmm. Is there any way I can change that? Cause we're no. not running this associated with either with my marketing right now. Yeah, I know it sucks. You can't change that. Okay. Just want to know. Okay. Good. Yeah. I wanted All to right. change mine too after the fact and I'm, and then I emailed them and they're like, dude, you can't. I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, okay. yeah. And then I've been on multiple car trick training calls where people ask the same question and, and then mm -hmm. support is, it, you know, tells them they have to start a whole new account. Okay. And I'm like, damn, that sucks. Yeah. So, so this is custom conversions. This right here has to happen in order to capture leads in order to run a conversion ad. So okay. that goes in right there and then go ahead and give it a name. So right below, um, no, down, down name. Yeah, right there. Let's actually name it leads. So, so grad 
grad landing page leads or whatever. Perfect. Okay, cool. So hit, hit the, yeah, create. Now you have a custom conversion. Now here's what you got to do. Open up a new tab. Are you in incognito right now? No. Yours just looks all black, your whole toolbar up there? Everything? Yeah. I think okay. if I click done, it'll probably change. No, that's fine. Just um, so so let's um, get rid of this. I mean, yeah, X out of this one right here to right there, that arrow right where it says overview, grad, landing page. Yeah, that. Okay, perfect. So right here, you see it says no activity yet, right? Mm -hmm. Open up a new tab and paste in that link. So then Facebook can read it for the first time. So go ahead and hit enter. Okay, perfect. So now Facebook read it. Awesome. I love the way that looks. Really cool. <laughs> it took a lot of work. <laughs> so let's go back to Facebook now, the ads manager, and then refresh this page. And that no activity, that should light up. Awesome. Perfect. Now you run a conversions ad. So... Okay. Now let's go back to the three lines in the top left. Events, yeah. And then go to Ads Manager. So let's just, let's just uh, check on, yeah, check the one that we're working on, which is the grad one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, so yeah, you can, yeah, you can light it up. And then go to the Ad Set, the middle tab. Okay, let me keep it off just so we can finish. Okay. And then um, let's go to, yeah, edit. Let's, we're going to edit both of them. And then now go down to the conversions, that missing conversions event. So X out of that. Yeah, yeah. And then and then hit the drop down and look for, there you go. Perfect. Now publish. Okay. And then, so, and the times are fine. Everything's good. Okay. Actually, no, what I would do now is I would change the time. Okay. So okay. let's go with, what is it today? Today's the 25th. It's, um, was it 5, 5 p.m. your time? Yeah. What I would do is I would, um, I would, um, does it let you change the time? No, why is that? Okay, so, okay, so then just leave it, just leave it. Just, what I would do is I would just extend out the May 31st, extend that time, can you extend that time? The end, the end time, the actual 1 p.m.? Oh, just that, okay. Can you change the 1 p.m., yeah. yeah. Like six? Yeah, change it for like six, perfect, okay. perfect. And then um, publish. And then can we just make sure? So then you saved audience. This is where I was able to find, you know, people that had visited the website. Uh, uncheck, uncheck Instagram. You don't want to run. You don't want to run Facebook and Instagram on the same campaign. Okay. So this is how you also split test. So what you're doing right here is you're split testing two different audiences. Yeah. One women, one men. Right. Mm -hmm. That's considered split testing. Okay. Another one would be Instagram. Facebook. Okay. That's also split testing. We don't want to run both of them at the same time. Okay. So just do Facebook and then, yeah. So, um, the audiences go ahead and yeah, you, yeah, you, even though no one's probably even landed on that landing page just yet, you could it's for the, sure. Oh, okay. Well, this is, um, website like her flower website. That's what I did. This custom audience. Gotcha. And that's this pixel that's tracking it. Yes. Okay. I had installed the pixel like a month ago. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. That's fine. And then what you'll also do is um, just in the future, like hit the edit right there, that below gender. Yeah. Just for, for, fut for like future ads that you'll run Yeah. is you'll always include a custom audience. So always get in the habit of, 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 of including a custom audience, which would be website visitors, a great custom audience. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that's the perfect custom audience to include. But as you start to capture leads, you're going to exclude the custom audience of leads. Got it. Right? Yep. So you should have a custom audience of people who land on the thank you page. Okay. Do you or not yet? No. Okay, so we got to set that up. Okay. Because this is ad number one, and that's fine. But ad number two, you'll have leads by then, and um, you'll – want to exclude anyone who ever landed on a thank you page. If you're running yeah. the same ad, like if you're running different ads, if you're running different ads, then you can even include them. Anyone who lands on the, on the landing page, vis website visitors, 
target them. Anyone who has landed on our thank you page, target them because now we're running a different ad. And if they bought roses last time, maybe they'll buy this bouquet next time, right? Yep. Yep. So you can always include for sure. But if you're running the same ad, the same campaign, exclude. Exclude any leads. Okay. And so to do that, you got to have a custom audience of those who are leads. Okay. Yep. So, um, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Okay, perfect. And then just hit update. Okay. So now, um, yeah, hit done. And then now, so go ahead and um, we hit the green one. Did you already publish? No. Okay. Do publish. The as well. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that, but yeah, you can do that. But I just put, yeah, you're going to have to publish. So publish hit the green one. That's fine. Okay, perfect. So now um, go back to the second one, the women. Okay, so that automatically like updated, it looks like. Yeah, you're good. So go to the that women. Updated, or that changed, okay. Oh, that's still in men. Sorry, that's why. Yeah, go to, um, actually, no, you're in the wrong one. Go to, um, go to women. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Okay, so it didn't. Okay, so this, this. This six. I want to edit. Edit. So the people who like the page. And then this is all fine, right? That's the city I want within ten miles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Update. Update. And then, and then the Instagram. Uncheck the Instagram. Instagram. And then just go ahead and publish. Hit the green one. Publish. That's fine. And what I started doing also is is just using automatic. Um, okay. Rather than edit placement. Go ahead and do that next time. Like th run this one and 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 go off of this. But in the future, maybe just leave it at automatic. But again, at the same time, like, yeah, use automatic because to tell you the truth, Facebook, if that image or if that video is not, um, if the dimensions do not fit Instagram, it won't even run it on Instagram. Oh, so, okay. okay. So I'm just having you uncheck it with me assuming that that image is for both when it's probably not. Um, if, is that a vertical image? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a squarish. Is it like a squarish? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I would still keep it separate. Just tell you, and that's why you'll, this is all testing, man. You'll, you'll, you'll test one where it's edit placement and I'm going just Facebook edit placement and I'm going just Instagram, a yeah. third ad where I go automatic placement and let Facebook just place it wherever the hell they want. Okay. So you'll, you'll do a few different, that that's all split testing. Yeah. Okay. So I wouldn't, really be too concerned on, on the first one. Um, let it run, let it run and, and, and let, let, let's learn, you know, let, let Facebook, let that pixel start to pick up data. Let that pixel start to see who your actual ideal lead is. Okay. And just start building that data. That's what this, this first run is really all about. Um, yeah. that's why I'm always, that's why I'm a huge advocate of that intro video so Facebook can start trying to find your, your ideal people. Yeah. Um, so it's all about that pixel. It's all about just testing. So, okay. So this so, is, yeah. So this is the ad create. So I, I know, you know, it's, you say like put, put it on um, Facebook first and then run it from that. But the reason why I kind of stopped doing that is sometimes I'll be like, wait a minute, did I put in the ad? And then you can't change it once it's a post. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I basically put the same thing in a post and the same thing in the ad, but keep them separate so that I can then go change anything in the ad. I mean, you can, you can, but at the same time, like, especially if it was a video, like you're going to have the video on your business page and then you're going to have a separate ad running behind the scenes and because it's an ad, that video is going to have 10,000 views. The one you have on your business page is going to have 90 views. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I paid for the 10,000 views. I want that on my business page. I want the whole world to see the 10,000 views. Yeah, I because see. Because you're going to post it and it's going to have no engagement. 
I see. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying with that. All right. I was wondering if there was any reason. And that's why even if you, as, as we spoke, as you mentioned the first time we spoke about an engagement ad, how you guys plan on running an, an engagement ad, that would be for sure not the strategy I would do because you're going to run, you're going to post on your business page and then you're going to run the ad behind the scenes and you're going to run it under engagement. And because you do engagement, you're going to have 57 shares, 97 people are going to comment. You're going to have 150 people like it. Got it. But the moment you turn it off, it's nowhere to be seen. And that yeah. social proof is what I freaking paid for. Yeah. And your post is going to be on the business page and it's going to have three likes because 97% or 99% of the people that like your page don't even live in the area. And mm -hmm. Facebook's only showing that post to 1% of your 700 likes anyways. So you're going to have that dead post for yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so just make sure you, you look at the ad as you go and set it up, set the damn thing up the right way. The first time you wouldn't have yeah. to edit if you make sure you just cross the T's and dot the I's in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. It just, when I've done one before, I've like just, you know, been going about this. I'm like, wait, did I? No, I wanted to say that. So then I go back and, and that's when I realize, like, well, if I did them separate, but I see what you're saying. Okay, for sure. Now, so this website URL, that's the landing page. Yes. Okay. So that I've got right. Add the media, I've, I've got it running as a carousel. Um, just the two pictures. Here's my text. Uh, call, uh, contact us. Good call to action. Um, contact us. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call to action. Okay. So, it, right. so when they click on it, they're going to your landing page and on your landing page, what are you asking for? Name, email. Um, and then phone number is optional. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So that all looks, everything's green. So that's uh, good. Yeah, everything looks, so that Seymour URL, what's that? Because I, can, I can't. I don't it. know. Click on the preview URL. What is that? I mean, what did you, did you add something there? No, I didn't add that. I saw that and. Okay, so just scroll down. Okay, all it is is a preview. So scroll, scroll down until you see the ad. Oh. Where is it at? Is it, did you see it? No. Okay, go go back real quick. Here, yeah. Um, preview URL. See more URL. That's where, that's where your your landing page link should go. Where's your landing page link? Right there. Website URL. Let's see. Hover over the little I. The little. Enter the URL for the web page you want people to visit. Okay, so the website goes there. What is that other freaking see more URL? Enter the URL you want people to visit. Okay, okay. So okay, so enter the URL you want people to visit when they click or tap your your last. Okay, cool. No, your website, your URL goes there. Take that one out. Yeah, so your landing page goes there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that, that goes there. And then see more display link. You could put, do you have an actual domain? She does, the florist does. Okay, you could put that there if you want. It's not going to be clickable. It's just going to be, they're going to just see it. Okay. And, and at least it looks you know, it looks legit as far as a, a dot .com. Um, that's fine. That could be right there. And then contact us. Perfect. And then your pixel, that's your pixel, right? That's the pixel yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're good. You're good. Okay. Let me publish that now, one. Let me go to. Now here, here's, here's also, and this is what I mentioned on our call the other day as well, where split testing, it's, it's done on the ad set level and on this ad level. Okay. So in the ad set, you're testing men and women. On the ad, you would test different images. Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay. So so a carousel is cool and it's all about testing, but those four images or whatever the hell you have in there, I would have set up as four different ads. 
There's only, there's two in there. There's two. So I would have set up two. I would have had one of the, of, of, of the young lady and I would have had another image of, of that other, of the second one, whatever that second image is. Her again, just wearing something. Her again, different. wearing something different. Well, they either get a flower bouquet or they can get that garland that you see there. So I wanted to have them both in the ad so they could see the two options. So, so one. But that's one, okay. I don't have to do it like that because on the landing page, they can see both. Yeah. But again, it, it, it's testing. After a yeah. few days, you'll look at the numbers. You'll. I would, I would give it for sure. I would give it, I mean, Facebook, Facebook, I remember I, I spoke to Facebook support and they said to really, really test, you want to be running it for, for seven to 10 days. Okay. And I'm like, damn, dude, that's like a lot of money, you know, just to, yeah. but, and, and then, and then I have some, I have some mentors that say run it for three days, okay. you know, run it for three days. And, and if it's not performing, shut it off. Okay. So, so in this case, you'd want to run it for at least three days for sure, a full 72 hours before, before you either, sh either shut it off. And so one test could be the carousel. The second ad would be one image. The third ad would be the second image. So I would have three different ad set or three different ads um, running, you know, but, but at the same time, whatever the budget is, you may have to, you know, adjust that accordingly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, but at the same time, this, this stuff that I'm just giving you, this knowledge that I'm giving you, it's just for, it, it's not always for the first ad. At least I have your brains, you know, will spinning and, yeah. and, and you'll start to really start to implement this stuff as you, as you progress. Right, right, right. For sure. So, yeah, that's cool. Okay. So it's, it's definitely split testing a couple here and then split testing on the ad, a, a couple different images. Okay. And then after a few days, seeing which one actually is performing and then shutting off the other ones right away. So before, since I just turned these on, but I can turn them off, should I change these ad sets to two separate images? No, leave it, leave it, test okay. it. Okay. Yeah, test it. So, okay. so are all they, are they all on? Let's see. Um, yeah. Refresh the page, refresh it. Okay. So now it's in review. Click on the, th the middle tab. Okay. So that is in review. Okay. Perfect. And then the third tab. Okay, cool. In review. That's it right there. That's it right there. You are, um, you're good to go. Just keep me posted on this. I'm really curious to see how, how this, what did you, you said it for, you uh -huh. just said it for the rest of the week, right? The, until the end of the end of the month. We did it for, for a week. So the plan is she's going to pay for one week and then I'm going to pay for the second week since the macarons are me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but I don't know how, I guess we'll have to turn it off. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe I'll just give her money and keep it under her ad account. If you, if you like, if it starts performing well and, it, and you want to keep it on. Yeah. Well, I just figured like I was going to turn it off, at, not turn it off, but switch it to my ad account money at a week, but gotcha. then it's not like starting it all over again. So maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't really do that. You should, um, if anything, what you can always do is you can, you can always Let's see how what would be the best way to do that. You can always mm, no because you guys have no it's two complete different ad accounts. So you'd have to pay her. I mean everything runs out under one ad account. Yeah. Like you don't want to do one campaign in hers and I mean I guess you can. I mean you can. You can run this in hers and then run yours in yours and 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 do it like that. I mean you can do it that way. Now, if but, we're running it in mine and it's her pixel, that still is fine. That'll apply and work and everything. Yeah, like you could put any pixel in any, in any, well, to tell you the truth, what it is, it's, it's her pixel. It's her pixel on the landing page. Yeah. And so if it's running under your account, yeah, you'd want to keep it under one account. You'd want to. Okay. That's fine. I don't want to, if we're, especially if it's doing well, I don't want to mess it up. So. But it, it, what, but what you can do is you can always, you can always, um, you can always put your credit card in her account as well. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Okay. So, so what I would do is I would, I would for sure like, okay, so this is, this is week number one. Yep. She's going to be built on it and it ends on the 31st. Yeah. What you can do at the same time as you're mm -hmm. setting up this is you're setting up another one and you're starting that one, you're scheduling it out and you're starting that one on June 1st. Yeah. Oh, got it. And that one, you set it all up at one time. 
that one starts on June 1st and your card is on file. So now you can just switch out the billing to build that new account or to build, to build that new ad. All right. Perfect. That's what I'll do. You can do that. But again, I mean, I, I think you're making it harder than you need to, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you guys are like 50, 50 partners in this freaking business, then you can mix and, and do what you guys are doing. But I, if she ain't giving you a percentage of the damn company, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be doing it this way. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, I make money off of the macaron part when we. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's okay. fine. I'll just give her money or do like you said with the credit cards. Yeah. Um, all right. So if we could, then I just want to like run through. So I think I'm I'm good. So landing page. I think it's all set. So this is where I did. I added the two pictures here. So I could do different ones in the ad itself. Oh yeah, so this is kind of an interesting. Um... So there we are. Um, yeah, so with, I don't remember which one you had said. Is that what I wanted based on landing page, landing date dynamic? Yes. Okay. That's the one. Right. Okay, good. That's the one. So um, you have it, yeah, you have it for two minutes. Yeah, that's perfect. And then when it counts down, nothing happens. It just stays on, they just stay on the page. Yeah. Okay. That's how, that's how it's set up right now. You can always have it set up where it, it, and it ends up redirecting them to an expired page. Oh, no, but, okay. okay. And then I have a little pop up, you know, for when they try to leave or, you know, when they move their cursor or whatever. Yes. It says wait. I know Facebook isn't a fan of pop-ups, but exit pop-ups pop are different. Yeah. Exit pop-ups, I don't think they're really that hard on exit pop-ups, but I know they're hard on pop-ups. So go back to it real quick. Pop-ups? Do, do you have the exit? Yeah, the pop-ups? Yeah, I do. You have the exit um, one? God, where did I set it up? Yeah, I don't know why it's not there. It'd be oh, right okay. there. It'd be exit pop-up. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I love it. So Perfect. this was a, oh my God, I spent hours on this. Well, not hours, but almost. Um, okay, so that one's fine. So then let's go back to my other page. To be able to make um, her phone number clickable. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't think you can. <laughs> if you want me to, because it took, I messaged and these, one guy had a solution and I'm like, okay, that's kind of good. But then now how do I do that? And then this other girl had a solution that was, so this is now clickable to a phone number, which is. Oh, you did set it up that way? Yes. How? So, so you have to go in. Um, so text link, and I don't want to change it, but you link it to like say www.google.com. Mm. So it's set to Google. So then you go over mm. to the left side where you've got this thing and you look at the code. Damn, look at you. I, yeah, I got crazy. And then you find that www.google.com and then you just change it to TEL colon and then the phone number. Wow. Yeah. So you know more about this stuff than I do, D. Well, this was, uh, I mean, I've, I've gotten a little bit familiar with this stuff, not in here. Like, like she told me how to do it. And I'm like, I don't know what you mean by go to source code or whatever. And then I like, maybe it's that thingy over there. But so then you'll see in here and you just have to make sure you change like everything. I forgot to take out the www. So you have to take that out. You just leave what's in quotes and you put the phone number. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. helpful. Yeah. The only really thing cool. is you can't do it in the emails which stinks because I have the emails in there. So communication sequences. So the, and then we, I made this a lot shorter than you and I originally had it just because I know this, my partner, and I know she's not going to want to be that aggressive. So we're just sending out an email the day after mm -hmm. and then an email the day after. And then that's kind of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. So in here, like when you go, you can't, do that in the um you can't put a phone number link to this phone number 
you can add that www.google, but there's nowhere to see the code for this to go and change it. Huh. So okay, so then nice. even if, so that was, that's a text block right there. Haven't called yet, called now to place your order. Yeah, uh, yep, and I tried with a um, button. Well, I don't know if I try, can you do a button in here? Yeah, yeah you, can. you can do a button and you can link that button to any URL. Yeah, but then, so then you have to find that in the code and I don't see anything that shows you mm. what the code is on this page or in this email. And that's where you gotta make the change. Huh, yeah, see, I, that. Which is really, like they, I don't know. they can change that because otherwise now they gotta write down the phone number or, you know, select and yeah. copy and, yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, so this is their mm. first email and then the second is like, you haven't forgotten again, have you, or? Yeah, did you forget about your grad? And so that's the second email that they'll get. So this awesome. is right, right? So one day, one day. Yeah. Automation. Yeah. What, I don't, what, is, what do you ahead. have set up for the automation? Yeah, let's check that because I'm not quite. What I, what I have set up, yeah, okay. So lead reaches this step, then unsubscribe them. I don't think I changed anything from what you and I have done. Okay, so unsubscribe from the list, fill out. Okay, and unsubscribe them from after options email series. Unsubscribe. You should put you should put and subscribe them to. So I would put them on. So you're unsubscribing everyone, but at the same time, where are you putting them? Yeah. Okay. So so you need to put them on a list. So what do I do? Edit. So um, just go go back to the pencil. Okay. Yeah, right there. So. Unsubscribe from list from list filled out FB grad. Okay, so actually, you know what? I you don't need a unsubscriber from that list because that's that's the list that they're on. So filled out FB grab promo. I would leave them on that list. So don't unsubscribe from that first list. Yeah, don't unsubscribe them there. Uh oh. Okay, so what do I want to do? So let's um. Let's unsubscribe. So we're going to unsubscribe them from this sequence. Sorry. So once, once they reach the complete or once they reach the automation, then you can unsubscribe them from the sequence. You can always do that. Um, yeah. So unsubscribe them from that sequence and then, and then click the blue button, add, no, leave that add. So you're unsubscribing them from the sequence, but they remain on the actual list. That's fine. Like you, you can just leave it at that, like that. And then, um, or you can unsubscribe them from that list and then just put them on a whole new list. I mean, you can do that too. It just okay. depends on how, how detailed you want to be. Okay. Oh. So let's leave it here. So speaking of that too, is there a way to change, like it says in there, like when they get an email, they can, they have to click on subscribe me to future. You can't make it a click here if you don't want to be subscribed. What do you mean? Oh, let me see where I could find it. Oh, did I just undo what I was trying to do? Let me just check that again. Yeah, I did. Okay, so I don't want this. So I want unsubscribe from sequence, Facebook grab promo, add. I, I, I don't like that there isn't like a save progress. You know, the you get green, the green is, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. got the green. It should say save. I don't know why it doesn't say mm -hmm. save. Okay, so maybe it's in my, um, I'm trying to think of which one I was. And those starting rules, what's that yellow one that you have checked? I don't know. So you have a sequence. So get rid of the sequence. So click it, click it and just, yeah, click it and then X that out. 
Yeah, you don't need that. The starting rule is just one. Just I would leave it just opt-in form. Okay, let me make sure this is right. It's either opt-in form or lead. What's a so what's that BLF? Blue line flowers and delectables by DD Grad Promo. Okay. Okay, so is that the right form on the landing page? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the only form I have right now. Okay. Cool. I'll either use just the opt-in form or I'll, I'll use just a tag. So okay. I'll set up a tag and tag everyone who fills out this form. And then in the starting rule, I'll use just the tag, but using the, okay. the opt-in form is, is just as fine. Okay. So yeah, there's a thing that says select this and, it, and then the, the words are, I would like to receive further communications. You mean when they go to unsubscribe? No, even when they, after they fill out the landing page, right? So can I, I think I can do that. Let's go to my pages. Can you see the new screen I'm on now? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me just. So then I should get an email, right? Or will, I not get that? will I not get that for an hour? No, you get it right. No, I should get it right away. Okay. Have you tested this at all? Yeah. Yep. I've I've been God, I've been testing it like every day whenever I change something or Okay, good. Okay, for some reason it's not. Maybe it's just gonna take a second to come through. Did you choose the right email? I don't know if you wrote the right email. Yeah, email. I put like my personal email. It says there's one downloading. Check it on my phone. Okay, there it is. Huh. Okay, now, yeah, it just says unsubscribe or edit your details. Yeah, at the very bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I was seeing that or what I'm thinking about. I'll have to find it again and. Well, okay. if you click on unsubscribe, click on unsubscribe, it takes you to um, a page and ask you like that. That's, is that what you're talking about? No, it, it had two options. Oh, and then one was about the, it's got like three letters in it that I don't know what it's referring to. Three letters in it? Keep me, keep me subscribed to KBD or something. Oh, I don't know what it was. Well, you clicked on edit. Uh, you clicked on unsubscribe, or what did you? There's two options. You click on unsubscribe, or you click on edit settings. Is that what it is? The two I options. I on unsubscribe right now. Yeah. So click on the other one. See what that what that takes you to. Oops. Takes you to the same place. Okay. No, I don't know if it was after. I don't know where I saw it now. I had written it in my notes. Yeah, it says I would like to receive further communications and you have to select the box. Oh, you're talking about you're you're talking about a double opt-in. Oh, okay. So that's in in my forms. If you went you went single opt-in on this one, but if you go double opt-in, sure. then it takes you to a bridge page where it says you must confirm the link that was just emailed to you. Okay. So if you open okay. up that and open up my forms, click on the three dots, it's double opt-in. But yeah. in this case, I mean, you could go double opt-in, but I would, I would keep it single. Yeah. Single opt-in. Okay. That's fine. Especially if you're running Facebook ads. Like if you're running Facebook ads, you want to try to just get as much as possible. And sometimes the double opt-in, like it just slows it down. Too much work for them yeah like a lot of times it's not that it's too much work it's just like for example on my youtube videos in my description the links that are in my description a couple of them are double opt-ins and that's just organic posting like okay. anyone that clicks those links like i want them to double opt-in because i want to make sure i build the strongest list possible yeah that's organic but if i'm running an ad i just want as many people to fill it out as possible yeah so because i there's going to be some people that hack my ad. Like 
I, I hack ads all the time. Yeah. Like I'll click learn more. I'll go to the damn page. I'll enter my name and email and I'm just freaking messing around. Mm -hmm. Right. But at the same time, like if it was a local ad, I don't think I'd be doing that. Like I actually, I don't know. I mean, and, and I'm, I'm just one person. More, majority of people aren't even thinking like us. I mean, you got just a, I don't know what percentage of people that are marketers that are actually doing that. Everyone else is a normal consumer. So I doubt yeah. they're just messing around, putting in random information just to screw you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's yeah. costing you. That's costing you. It's, we're running an ad. So we do want to make sure we get the highest quality lead. But at the same time, in this case, like, I don't know, you could do double. Op I mean, I guess it's preference. It's, there's no right or wrong. Okay. It's really just preference. But that's what you're referring to is, is, is the bridge page. And that's on a double opt-in. Okay. And, and I just saw at the bottom, it said GDPR. That's what the second option is, something about GDPR, which I didn't even know what it was. What, that, that's only, that's only, well, GDPR, that's only when you're running ads to freaking Europe. Europe, right. Yeah, okay. so you don't need that for your area. Okay. Um, but what is super important, go back to your landing page real quick. Do you have your, um, what do you, do you have your privacy policy in terms of use on there? Okay, so then you're good. I put it on it's on her website. Like, oh, I did all that. I got one. I put it on her website and linked to it. It's all, it's really only necessary for for ads. Like, if you're running Facebook ads, um, yeah, perfect. So about us, yeah, that's what's necessary for Facebook ads. Like, they want to mm -hmm. see that. About us just goes right to the her website. Privacy policy goes to her privacy policy in terms of use on her website. I would. I. I mean. Just me, I would take out about us, but I mean, if it's her and she's adamant about it, then leave no, it. But. No, 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 she, she doesn't even know what I'm doing. She's like, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, take it out. Take out about us. Okay. Because you don't need them clicking on anything else. Okay, so speaking of that, with um, like taking off stuff, and it doesn't matter what I do now, tomorrow, if somebody doesn't click on the ad until like, you know, after I do this, they're going to only see what I've saved right now, right? Yes. It doesn't matter that I'm changing things. No. Okay. Just always make sure you publish live. And then publish live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Publish live. But um, you can mess with your pages as many times as you want and it, it's not okay. going to throw off the ad. It's not going to, Got it. it's not going to do any of that. Okay. And then if I want to post, like I've, I've been putting, um, like, I don't know if I should have done this now. I put a link to the landing page and I was going to put it on my, like, face, my delectables, Facebook, and mm -hmm. that's fine, right? Now I can just put this landing page link anywhere? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you have an image on it? Oh, and you know what? I remember you talking about that and it did pop up for something. That's for this? Well, it's when you, yeah, hit settings. The image is, is what's going to show up on Facebook. Go to um, SEO parameters and go down, to, go down to the blue one, image selected. So yeah, that's the image that shows. Yes, that showed up when I posted in a Facebook group. Yeah, yeah, that's what's going to show. So. Okay, but, so I might want to change that, I think. I think yeah, I'm, I would change it too. Brad -like. And, and you, want it to be, you want it to be a horizontal size. Okay. So just make sure that that's not a vertical. A square, I think a square would work. I think these um, are 1080 by 1080. Um, just open up another tab and let's, let's see if you can Google that real quick. Google, um, let's see, what would be the right terminology? Google uh, Facebook, Facebook social image dimension. See if anything comes, comes up under that. Yeah, see, there it is there. So 1200 by 630. Yeah, image post, image event, image, uh, Facebook video size. So it could be Facebook event image. Um, Yeah, it'd be it, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the video size. It'd be the, it'd be either that twelve hundred by six thirty or that nineteen twenty by ten eighty. So, okay. what I would do actually, well, um, I would go. 
I would go 1920 by 1080. Okay. And so I would just simply take that image and put it into Canva. Yeah. And then and then get it there. And then it makes it so hard that you need so many different image sizes everywhere you go. Yeah, I know. I hate it. I hate yeah. it. Um, but 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 the image um, for a Facebook ad should be square. Okay. That, and so, that is 1080 by 1080. What's that? It's a 1080 by 1080. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's for that's for a Facebook ad. So really, it's not it's not too complicated. That's that's the size for for that. And then, um, but what? Yeah, what throws it off is having to know the right dimension for Instagram. Like, yeah, you know. So, so I tried to post it. Like, I, let's see what it would. What am I posting again? The um, the page. I don't think it will update that fast. But you can you can oh, check. Okay. You can for sure. Did you click at the green button apply? Or it was already there, right? I mean, is that? There was an image there. Let me go in and just change it. Yeah, there was a very um, rectangular image there. Yeah, that'd be good. But it was, I want to say it was cutting off somewhere. I forgot what, are, what am I looking for? Go to the settings oh. in the top left. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the one I want selected. So that's fine. Okay, so save. Publish live. Okay, and then let me go to. So might not update that fast, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's the old one. Okay. But what you can do is is okay. Open up another tab. It's called um, Google Google uh, Facebook Scraper. I think it's Facebook Scraper. Yeah, it's the yeah. So that debugger that yeah sharing debugger. No, the top one. Yeah, click on that one, and then paste in the link. Yeah, right to the top. Paste it in. And then debug, debug. And you'll probably have to do this like a few times. So um, like in, in 10 seconds, scrape again. Like, yeah, you could do it now. Oh, I see. It tells you when it's updated? Yeah. So if you scrape it again, like you'll want to probably do it, like try to do it again, but you'll do it maybe every, try it every like, oh, perfect. So now it's good. So let's let this load real quick. Perfect. See, so the head's obviously, you know, cut off, so it's not the right dimension, but yeah. But um, it, I mean, it looks better than the other one. So do you think that's 1200 by 630 or 1920 by 1080? What did you do? Or actually you didn't even change it, right? So yeah. I would think, well, 1200 by, I would, 630 is, is um, it's not as, What's the right word? Because I'm 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 thinking of a square. Yeah. So actually, yeah, yeah. Let's just let's just do it right here. Let's. Nineteen twenty. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Ten eighty. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Perfect. So then, what I would do is I would um. I yeah. There you go. Perfect. Wait, Perfect. But that's Oh, oh, okay. I just have to move ahead. Okay, and crop. Done. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and then I want to change it in. Kartra. And then what you'll do is you'll just grab the URL and just scrape it again. Okay, this is cool. This I don't think you cool. chose it. Did I not? 
Okay, that's selected, right? When no, selected? no, click. Isn't it? Isn't the one to the right? Oh, yes. That how one? did that happen? Thank you. Okay, okay confirm, and then apply. No, no, you got to. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you got to click that. No, I'm pretty sure you got to do that all the time. The green apply, okay. and then yeah. Now the URL doesn't change when I change this picture, right? No. Okay. Oh, right. Obviously, it's right there. Okay. All right. like it's changing really cool normally it are it used to take forever yeah it's still not it so sometimes it would take up to like an hour i would scrape scrape again scrape again scrape again and then i would just freaking come back 40 minutes later and do it again mm -hmm. but the first time oh, there like, it is cool. awesome they do it quicker now really cool so Perfect. is that forcing it to update or that's checking if it's updated mm -hmm. Well, both. It forced it and it updated it. Okay. Yeah, so, so now yeah. if you go and post the link, you'll have that. Refresh the page. Just go to, um, go to, um, just refresh the page. I would refresh it. And then what I also do is um, once you post it and then, and then it populates, I delete that link. Oh, oh, you can do that. Good. To yeah. Know. All right. Cause I don't want that ugly link there, you know? Yeah. So now I can delete that. Yeah. Awesome. And you could just write whatever. Um, and then again, I, I make that the ad, you know, I make that the ad, I write out the text, I put some emojis and that is the ad. Yeah. Okay. You know, so. I'll go do that later and then yeah. I'll have to update hers. Okay. Really, really cool. Okay. Awesome. I Time to press play D and, and run the damn thing and I know. keep me posted. Okay. Let me know in a, in a few days. Yeah. So what, what is the realistic? Like I'm the type, like I post it 10 minutes later. Did we get any leads? Did we get any leads? Yeah. You don't want to look at it to tell you the truth. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to micromanage it especially yeah. in the next few days. I always tell people run it and don't even look at it until freaking what's today. Today's Monday. Yeah. Don't even just because all you, all you really need to pay attention to are the leads that are hitting your notifications in Kartra. Yeah. That, like and that's what I do. I keep it open and I'm hitting refresh, but too much. I need yeah. To don't do that. Don't, don't even worry about it. You got to set and forget you set the yeah. calendar. You got the budget. So you'll notice anything coming in via leads through your Kartra notifications. Um, and if okay. you're not getting that right away, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even worry about it. Like I wouldn't even look at the ads manager for the next, for the next, I mean, I wouldn't even look at it for the next three days to tell you the okay. truth. Okay. Like I would not because it drives, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to micromanage everything. Like, yeah. look, trust me, like, trust me. I, to tell you the truth, I'm preaching to myself because I literally do this. That's why I know how much of a headache it is. I yeah. do this with my YouTube channel. Like yeah. I'm literally refreshing every five minutes to see the views, to see my subscribers. Like, and it's freaking, see, I think, it's, oh, I would be I think it. it's sickening. It's freaking sickening. It's like a damn disease. It's sickening. It's freaking I sickening. So you got to catch yourself. I, I know. I was standing in line at Trader Joe's today and I'm like, there's no Kartra app. I wonder if I could. So I went on and I went to uh, Chrome and I created a shortcut on my phone yeah. to my feed <laughs> so that I could refresh it wherever I was. And yeah. See like I, I, I've just learned to not micromanage anything anymore. Like I just set yeah. it and forget it and, and just let, let, let the process go. Like let, let it, let it go through the process. Okay. So especially for the first few days, first two to three days, Facebook is still trying to optimize your ad. So yeah. you're not going to see, if you do see something, it'd be great. But if you don't in the first 24 hours, like don't worry about it. Like don't worry about it. Okay. Like, don't worry about it. Give it three days and then go back in. Okay. Like I would look at this thing maybe Wednesday night. Look at your ads manager Wednesday night. Okay. This time Wednesday, 
look at the ads manager for the first time. Okay. And see what activity there is. Yeah. And here's what you want to do too. Let me, let me just, let me end it here. Go to your ads manager. Let me have you do one last thing, but make sure that page is saved. You know, don't just leave your page hanging like that. Always oh. publish live and always exit. What you'll set up real quick is the, is the, is the dashboard The um, I'll have you customize the column, which all you're going to do is really just add um, a couple of things. So right at the very top, you have bid strategy, budget results, reach impressions, the column, right? What I do is I customize it. So hit that columns performance. Yeah, right there. Okay. And then go down and customize columns right there. Okay, so now what we're gonna click on is, so, so to the right, those are all the different things that are up. Campaign name, delivery, ad set name. Um, what, there's a few of them that you, do, you just don't need in there. Like I don't wanna clutter it, right? Like this is my dashboard. I wanna be able to look at it and, and see the freaking numbers like right away. I don't wanna have to sort through all these damn um, um, re reports that, or, or I should say, what do they call it? I don't want to, I don't want to sort through all the metrics to try to find what I'm looking for. Yeah. Especially if a lot of these, I don't even need, like, I don't need, um, quality ranking. I don't care about that. So X that, X that out engagement rate ranking. I don't care about that. Conversions rate ranking X that out. Don't need that. Um, last significant edit, get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Um, schedule, I guess you can keep schedule delivery. I guess you can, you can keep that scroll down. Um, link clicks can keep, keep that, um, on Facebook purchases. You're not optimizing for that. So take that out. Um, and I guess reach impressions, results, budget, bid strategy. I mean, you can leave that. Okay. So, so to the very left custom conversions. So, so when you customize the, the columns, it's all about customizing it for your conversions. So if you scroll up in the middle, if you scroll up just a bit right above settings, so scroll up. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. In the middle. So right. Yeah. Just scroll up a little bit, move the, move the cursor up. No, it's down. You see the bar to the, to the right. No, no, no. Right there. Down all the way down that bar, just move it up a little bit. No, we, yeah, up. I need it to be above, where do, where do the settings go? Actually, no, you're way up. Go down, go down, down, down. Scroll down, down to custom, right. It should right there, right there, right there, right there. No, you, you went too fast. Scroll up a little bit, right there. That right there, so grad, no, stop. Grad landing page, no, 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 stop. Sorry, it's, I hit a mouse by accident. Grad landing page leads. Click on total, checkbox the total, and then checkbox the um, value and the cost. And then drag those. You'll see those to the right now. So to the right in the in the list, yeah. scroll to the very bottom. So drag those to the very top. Those three, drag them to the very top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to give this customized column a name. So oh. are those the three? Yeah, those yep. are the three. Okay, so to the bottom left, save as preset and name it. Specific to this one or just specific to this campaign? Okay, click apply. There are your numbers. So there are your metrics, I should say. Okay. So still in review. That's weird. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to be there for a while. So cost per grad landing. So now you can come here and you can see those numbers right away. Got it. That's all you really care about. Like is how much is it costing, right? What's the cost per landing page lead, right? What's the cost? Um, what's the conversion value? And what's um, and grad landing page leads and 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 the and the quantity. How many do we have? Okay. Okay. And so as you go and set up more future ads, if you hit that columns 
to the very right again, where you went the first time, the drop down. If you click on that, you'll see it right there. So now you have it, your own column. That's awesome. Where That's you can cool. always just go back to that and 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 check check those numbers. Okay. Um, what would you expect cost per result to be? I have no idea. Everyone's different. I have no idea. Yeah. But but one thing you do want to know is is what what do we make per sell? Yeah. Like what yeah. what is the profit per unit? And, yeah. and that's how you want to be looking at it. Like if if we make if we make ten dollars profit for every time we sell a, a bouquet of flowers, okay. Well, then that means that if I'm spending ten dollars per day, I need to make sure. I get a sell. Yeah, got it. Right. But see, you guys are opting in for leads, not necessarily sells. So what that what you guys are gonna end up having to look at is okay, we got leads. How many of these leads actually called in? Mm -hmm. So so that's why whoever's taking that phone call, that's the most important part. Yeah. Is whoever's taking that phone call needs to be able to, to track that. And 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 you're tracking yeah. it from the code. So yeah. any phone call that comes in and they give this code, we need to have some type of spreadsheet that is yeah. tracking that. Yes, so that's on my list that I got to make sure, I was gonna create a Google sheet and tell her you have to ask when they call, where did you find us? Because now I'm putting this landing page not, on my- Not necessarily where did you find us, it's not that. It's the question is, do you have a discount code? Yeah, okay. Well, my question, the thing about like, where did you find us is because I'm gonna put it on my, my personal one. My friend, we just um, are selling this promo to, she's going to tell her friends. Yeah. So I guess if her friends call, they won't have a code. Yeah. So this, this code is okay. only specific for Facebook ads. Yeah. It's not for, it's not for your business page. It's not to share with your friends. No, it's specific for this freaking ad. We're paying. Okay. Okay. So, so then with that, if I put the landing page link in say one of my, you know, our local Facebook groups, they're going to know the code then. Yeah, but, but though, I mean, you're not, don't expect to freaking get traffic from that. I mean, that's not going to, even if there was a ton of people in that local group, I mean, I'm just very anti organic. I don't no, know. I know, I know, I know. I, just, you're gonna say that. Yeah. I just, I don't think you're going to, you're going to see big numbers to even have to worry about those metrics. Yeah. Okay. Well, and so let's say we do get, let's say I proved David wrong and we get yeah. organic stuff. Um, that doesn't, I'm not paying for those. No, right? no, okay. Okay. not at all. How, not, not at all. However, however, those numbers will still reflect here because there's a pixel on that page. There's custom audiences. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yep. So, and one thing you have to do also now, now that I just remember, you have to set up a custom audience of everyone who's landing on that thank you page. Yes. Okay. Let's, uh, that'd be awesome to do that again. Cause I don't remember. Events manager? Uh, go to, um, yeah, go to events manager. And it's audiences. Actually, no, it's, it's, um, it's actually, no, it's not custom conversions. Go to, it's actually, go back to the, hit the three lines again. You should see audiences, actually. Um, audience, audience, audience. Yeah, right there, audiences. So you have an audience for the people who land on the, on the, on the landing page, and then you need to have a, an audience of people who land on the thank you page. Okay. Where's, do you have that? I can't really see the no. font is super small. You don't have it? I don't have one for the okay, landing. Okay, so create custom audience. For the thank you page, uh, custom, okay. And then website. And then um, go hit the drop down. Yeah, hit all website visitors. Go to um, hit the drop down. Go to people who visit specific, and then paste in the URL, but not the HTTPS, just the um, everything after the forward slash. Okay. And this is thank you. We're going to. Yeah, the thank you page. Okay, perfect. All 
Okay, and then name that audience. So those are those are leads. Okay, then yeah, and then create. Perfect. So now you have a custom audience for those people. Um, hit done. And again, you'll, you'll, I mean, what the reason why that's so important is because again, you want to, you want to include them or exclude them from future ads. Got it. Okay. That's so this is all about what we just did there is to exclude from the future ads. Or include exclude. or exclude. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but to answer your question, yeah, if you post that link anywhere, they're still going to be tracked. Those numbers will still reflect here, even though that click or that sell or that phone call didn't come from the ad, it's still tracked. Because of the pixel. Because of the pixel and because of the custom audiences and because of the custom conversion. Yeah. Because of all the data that's set up. Okay. But at the same time, that's not, I mean, you're not, you're not the mayor of your town. So people are not going to be like, Oh, DD has a, like, you're not that popular. D. Like, even if that little shop, even if you guys had 10,000 people in that, in that, in that shop and you post organically or 10,000 people in that group that are all familiar with that flower shop, it's not going to, it's, it's not going to be a huge return either. Anyways, like, no, and it, I don't stuff. think we're going to be like bombarded. Although I told Diane, I'm like, get ready because, but I think right now people don't know what to do for their grad. And like I brought them, we brought them to my friend. That's the girl who's in there. And she's not the kind of girl that would like order more stuff. And she's the one that's ordered four of these. She's going to order them for all her daughter's friends. And she's not the kind that would ever like order stuff. So I'm just like, man, if Christine's ordering stuff, then, you know, I think people don't know what to do for their grad. They're all like, oh, poor grads, you know, don't have anything to celebrate. And so See that I, you need to be talking about that one, either you or that other lady needs to be talking about that from this right here in a video. Yeah. Like, like I'm telling you, your boring image is only going to get you so much like that image. I mean, I'm telling you, you put yourself on, a, Hey guys, this is D. I know a lot of parents are super freaking confused right now. They don't know what the hell to do for their kid. Let me give you a few tips and let me kind of tell you what we got going on. Okay. You do something like that from your cell phone via video. I mean, you'd crush it. You would yeah. crush it. Like that is the ultimate rather than posting your link in all these damn groups, okay. video, video ad. All right. So let's say, cause I, you know, and as you know, it's so hard to get people to do video and I was like that. And now I'm not, I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care what I look like. I don't care because yeah, it gets right? so if, so I'll have to be the one to probably do that. Should I wait till this is done running, running at the same time? How should I? It all, it's all on your budget. It's all up to you. Like if you got the budget, freaking roll that damn thing out now. And, just, and what you can do here, here's one strategy as well, is you can simply roll that out under video views I was gonna say, yeah. and then, and then, and then, and then, and then retarget, retarget with this ad that you just set up, retarget everyone who views it. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, you can, oh, you can, it. you know, you can, and, and you can have those going on simultaneously. Okay. Yep. Okay. You I'm know, do it. um, and then you would just set up a custom audience. So you would, you would click on create custom, click on create audiences right there to the left, the blue one down right there. So go to custom audiences and then you would just do video. So video, and then you would create a custom audience of those who watched that video. Um, you would click, you would find the video and, and you would, you would go how many seconds. So percentage people who watched 25% of it or 50% of it. And then wow. you, you choose videos and then you find that video. And then, and then you name the audience name, people who watched 25% of, that's yeah. what I would, I would name it. And then, and then you retarget everyone who watched that video. But, but video, man, video is what you guys need to be doing. Video, video, yeah. video. That's why I forced her to do that one. Like we had one of us together. It was too dark. So I'm like, let's, we're supposed to be separating anyways. You do your part, I'll do mine. And then I put them together. Yeah. We have to have some kind of a video. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, with with I think you're too smart for video. Like I think you just think you need to do all the editing and all that stuff. I I'm just a firm believer that you don't need to. Like you just pull out your yeah, cell phone and you go on a rant. 
Yeah, I, I hear. I definitely hear what you're saying on that. I just, you know what I mean. There's no way we. I had to do that split screen thing and whatever. But but, but it's time. good. But it's good. But but as far as the ad, as far as the ad, like I'm telling you, and it's so crazy. I got all. I learned all that from Ty Lopez. Whether people follow him, know about him, like him, not like him, whatever. Yeah. He started doing that back in 2016. On your cell phone, yeah, freaking cell phone. video. Mm -hmm. Today, but it's so Gary V too of just like just do it, you know. Gary, Gary V, too much. yeah, Gary, Gary, Gary V for sure. But uh, but ninety nine percent of his stuff is edited nine because he has a huge team. Yeah. It's freaking fifty people editing his damn stuff every day. It's yeah. fifty people posting for him all damn day. So he has a team. Ty Lopez probably has a team as well. But his but his actual content, what he actually puts out as far as video, is from the cell phone, unedited. Yeah. And, yeah. and, 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 and it's so crazy because he literally just came out. He's a course guy. He's been selling courses. That's where he's made millions of dollars. He has businesses, but he's, he sells his knowledge. He yeah. sells courses. He literally has another course coming out like right, right now. And he's mm -hmm. back on, on cell phone, still same damn video, mm -hmm. like unedited, nothing professional. It's 2020. And he still has that, that, that strategy yeah. on the cell phone talking. Just raw. Yeah. Just raw, dude. Like that's social media. He still gets it. Like I would think after the millions that he's made now, he'd have editing, professional lighting and all this crap. It's yeah. like, dude, that's not video. Like, but then again, I'm talking to a video person. So you probably, you know, would disagree, but I'm talking, I'm talking about like, no, I don't like, disagree. I just, the perfectionist to me is like, oh, well, let's make it look like this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the perfectional, the perfection in you, the, 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 that's the freaking your characteristic, right? That's your personality to make, make it look really, really good. But it's like, damn, I'm telling you, like, it's easier than you think. Yeah. You know? No, that's awesome. I, I totally get it. The raw thing. And, and I will, I, I'm going to do that. I'll record a video of the promo and, and do just like you said, do it on yes. video views and then retarget them with this ad and. Or even yeah. set up that video as conversions as well, because to tell you the truth, you got to get straight to the point as well. You guys got to start capturing leads. So video views is good when you have the time, like okay. if we have an, a week to really play around with it and, 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 and run it under video views, capture an audience, retarget them if we have the time. But if we're trying to make sales now and if we, gotta, if we only have a short period of time because you guys do, grad, graduation is freaking a freaking week away. Now, so it's yeah. like you might not have the time to run that type of video view ad. So if yeah. anything, do the video and go straight into conversions. Okay. Okay. But it's the fact that it's video. That's what's because you know the pain points. Yeah. Like, you know, parents don't know what the hell to do. You got to talk about that. Yeah. You yeah. get hard with an image and your text to, to, to really portray that. Yeah, it is. I was with a, like a group of friends the other, last, the other night too. And I told a friend about it. who has got a college kid and she's like, oh, that's such a good idea. Like with the flower macaron thing. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I know that we could, we just got to get. So here's why too, you know, we were talking about like not micromanaging. Mm -hmm. Where I get nervous is like, so this Diane, she had said to me, she's like, well, so if this doesn't work, when should we turn off the ad? I'm like, there is no it not working. So then I get the pressure on me of like, oh my God, this better work. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't know. I just like, I know her, we're kind of friends now. So I'm just like, yes. Diane, I'm like, it's going to work. There is no not working, yes. but it's not going to work overnight. It's going to take time. We're going to, you know, cause she's like, well, you want to run it for a week. She's like, I'm like, but you can turn it off whenever you want to. But you know, I'm afraid she's going to say in three days, oh, let's just turn it off. And it's like, but we've yeah, always it, Yeah. If, if you got a person like that, it's hard. Um, but this, at the same time, like you have to be, the person has to be willing to spend yeah. And you as the advertiser have to be running multiple ads. Yeah. So, so multiple images in this case, multiple ad sets to find that one ad right away that works because when yeah. you roll one ad out, it's like, dude, that might not be the ad, Right. you know, like that's why you have to be split testing. You have to be running multiple ad sets, multiple ads. The, the client has to have a good budget. 15 bucks a day is, is, is decent. But again, at the same time, as I mentioned, you got to break it down per unit. How much do we make per sell? Yeah. So if I can, if I can bring in leads and one person can actually pick up the phone and call and place an order, how much money do you make? Yeah. Like, like you got the revenue and then you got the profit. Like how much do you net? You got revenue, you got net. How much do you net? Um, and, and if you net 15 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever your net is, that's how much we should, we should be spending per day 
on this campaign. Yeah. Because if, if, if you net 20 bucks or 25 bucks per flower bouquet, then we need to be spending that much per day. Because if we could spend that much per day and get one person to call, we at least break even. Yeah. If we can get two people to call, then we're profiting. And that's yeah. spending 25 bucks a day, 50 bucks a day. So that's why it blows my mind when real estate agents, they want to spend five bucks a day. I'm like, five bucks yeah. a day? You make seven grand when you sell a freaking house. Right. You should be spending seven grand per month. Yeah. No that's how you need to be looking at it. I tell you the agents all the time. I'm like, dude, and then this recent client that I just brought aboard, I actually am excited about working with him. He makes about three, four grand per deal. And he understands he needs to be spending that much per month. Yeah. Wow. And, and it's like, dude, I'm like, man, if, if, if we bring in one deal spending that much, we break even. And, and not to mention all the leads that came in. Yeah. So that's the thing. You guys are going to, you guys are running this ad. What you have to take into consideration and, and, and take into account is the fact that, okay, we got one sell, but 50 people opted in. Yeah. We got yep. 50 people that we can freaking follow up with and send them an email and make another sell. Yeah. And we don't have to pay for that anymore. Right. I know that. And that's what I've been telling her about this whole list thing. I'm like, we've got to get people's names. Um, I tried to get her to, she has square, square, the account thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe, you know, those emails and she didn't want to do it. She, I'm like, they're not, she's like, so then it's going to send um, ads to those people. I'm like, no, it sends to people that are like those people. She wasn't comfortable uploading that into Facebook. So yeah, I'm see, like, she, that, that's, that's a hard client yeah. to work with. Yeah, it, it, it's tough. Um, but yeah, you know, I keep trying to stress what, it's not a, go ahead. What, what, what you need to do, because this is, this is how I break down my side of my business as well. Now you yeah. got some clients that are like that and they want to micromanage everything and be involved. Yeah. And then you got some clients that, that let you do what you do. Mm -hmm. Right. Those are the two types of people. Those are the only two types of people. If you come across a person like this in the future, that's a coaching client. That's the type of client where, where you offer them a coaching package and say, hey, you know what? For $500, what I'm going to do is I'm going to coach you. I'm going to give you five coaching calls. We're going to spend an hour each, and I'm going to walk you through all of this stuff so you can learn it yourself. And so you don't have to hire me. You won't have to hire anyone. You're, I'm going to teach you how to set up custom audiences. I'm going to teach you how to install your pixel, your landing page. I'm gonna, you have these basic bullet points that you touch on on each coaching call. And it's about five calls you can get everything in. Uh -huh. and, 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 you, and you approach them that way. Say, hey, I know that you're the type of person that wants to be involved, and I love that. What I want to do is I just want to coach you and teach you all this stuff so, so, so you can do it on your own. Yeah. And, then and, you're not and, getting so involved in them. Yeah, you don't want to be involved with a person like that at all, like at yeah. all at all. And then, and then if, the, if they're the other type of person where they're like, David, you know what? I ain't got time to do any of that. You do it. Okay, cool. I charge a thousand a month and I micromanage the entire thing for you. Yeah. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to worry about are the leads that are coming in. That's it. So mm -hmm. which one are you? Person, you know, are you person A or are you person B? You yeah. got you to gotta ask them that. You got to find that out in the very, very beginning or you're going to have a client that is wanting to put their finger in every little thing you're doing and it freaking sucks. I hate clients like that. Yeah. I hate clients like that. Clients like that is what's taking me out of the business. That's why I'm not, I'm not after clients like that anymore. I just yeah. want to sell my course. I want to build my YouTube channel. Like I don't want to talk to none of these people, mm -hmm. you know, but, but I'll coach you and, and I have a package for that. I'll coach you and, and teach you these basics so you can know how to do them yourself. And so we don't piss each other off. I feel like it's hard to make people understand the importance of a list, you know, and because like you had just said earlier, and I used that with her, I'm like, and once we have a list, all the marketing to those people is free. We just have to get a list of people. So after you deliver something, we need to send them an email. And I talked to, um, you probably know the guy, it's Jonathan Finley's um, buddy, He, you know, to sell the funnels. He was talking to me about, I said, oh, I, I wasn't, I didn't know you couldn't just like email people randomly, you know, and he's like, no, they truly have to like opt in. So I'm like, so if she delivers flowers, can we send an email saying, thank you for your order? But he's like, yeah, you can do that, but you can't say, then you're automatically on a list or whatever. You have to say in the email, like, would you like to be on my list and whatever. I and mean, it was good information of just like, but I'm trying to like stress to these people that you have to get a list of people. Yeah. Otherwise you're just cold, colding everybody. 
but yeah, you, I mean, you could tell them that, but that's just, that's a headache. That's, that's micro, I guess that you can call it micromanaging. That's like slow pain yeah. or where we're going to build a list is when we run ads. Yeah. So if yeah. you've never done that before, and if you don't want to freaking hound every customer that you already have, and if you don't want to have to implement that into your drop off and Hey, make sure that you get their email, that's too much to worry about. So what I want to do is I just want to run ads and, and capture the email already. So you, from this point on, you start building a list of hundreds of people. Yeah. You know, because that, that's the way it's going to come in to begin with. Like it's, it's because of my paid advertising that's building a list, not, yeah. not you telling your employees to make sure they ask somebody for their freaking email. Forget about all that. Like that, what are you going to do? And freaking get 10 extra emails? Like I'm trying to get you 10 a freaking every half hour. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I get that like yeah. the, the little things, it's just trying to, con, you know, show them like, you got to start somewhere. You've got to start getting emails. You can't just have a transaction and you never hear the person again, because just like you're saying, like, we're going to do this grad thing. And then we have another idea for this really cool thing we saw with these like roses. And I'm like, that's going to be the next thing that we're going to do, but we need people to market that too. So we've got to get these people through an ad and Yeah. Anyways. If you had that, if she had a list of her, her past customers, you would take that list, upload to Facebook, create a custom audience, create yeah. a lookalike audience around that custom audience. And mm -hmm. Facebook will find you all the same people in that area that are likely to buy. That's what I've explained. I'm like, like it's not those people. It's people that are like those people. Facebook knows everything yeah, that you're doing yeah. and they're going to find people that are but, doing the same things that those people are doing. Yeah. And, and even if it was those people though, even if it was those people, why wouldn't you want to show those people your ad and why wouldn't you want your branding out there? It's a person that lives two miles away from you who bought flowers from you three months ago and now they're seeing you in their newsfeed advertising something else. How is that now not powerful? How, how is that not a branding effect? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want your past customers seeing an ad of you? I know. What know. the hell? Like what kind of, per that's why sometimes these small business owners blow my mind. They're yeah. so freaking dinosaur. I don't get it. Yeah. You know? Um, and then, and then, and then, and then it's those same ones who want to freaking put a finger in everything that you're freaking doing and micromanage you. It's like, dude, wait a minute. You know, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like I do this, you do that. Yeah. I'll talk to you in 30 days. Just answer your phone when the freaking phone rings. People call you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? for Sure. Uh, you know, so yeah, let mm. this run for a few days awesome. and just keep me posted. Okay. I will for sure. Hey, real quick. Did you get that email I sent you of, um, Trip and Tyler? They're on YouTube. Do you know Trip and Tyler? No, you didn't send me that. No. You have to look. It's, I do you know who Trip and Tyler are. They do like, they're freaking hilarious. So I sent you a thing. It's like a, um, it's like the ads that we see on YouTube all the time, but they did like a parody thing on it. Send, send it so to me. Send it to me again. You're going to die. <laughs> all right all right i will i'm gonna send it to you now i'm gonna find it again because it's it's just message it's me in like a few days about the about these numbers i want to know what these numbers look like in a few days i will thank you but, so but no much. less than than three days okay 72 hours message me okay i will not message you except for the parody thing i'll send you that now. yes all right d all right thank you Thanks. so much you're welcome all See right you later. bye, -bye. bye.